This is the glorious part of vlogging on YouTube. We get dressed in the car park and Jack just wanders off. I have to look after myself with my own microphone, tuck it into my shirt. So this is the bit you guys don't get to see. <clears throat> a, 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 B, 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 B. The rain in Spain is falling on the plane. <laughs> the la, la, la. Me, 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 me. Ah, ah, ah. Baja, baja. For you guys out there, one of the one of the things that can really let you down in the sales meeting, but you've got to be very respectful of your prospect's time. You've got to be early to the meeting, and you've got to finish the meeting five or ten minutes early. You can't finish the meeting late. Now, what is the situation now is that, that the people that we're meeting with, they have back-to-back -back meetings, and so they've got to prep or get themselves mentally ready for the next meeting. You've got to be out of that meeting, expect to be leaving that meeting five minutes early and just say, look, I'm finished, I'm wrapped up, are you good with everything? Not, not continue the conversation and stretch it out because you are still in time from the next meeting and you'll make that person anxious really, really quickly. So be careful of, if you're gonna steal time, you wanna get permission to steal that time. This meeting's potentially gonna run late. You know, can we extend it 15 minutes? Uh, because you need to be respectful of the next meeting. And, um, and that, you know, a couple of the meetings today, um, you know, I'm sort of getting up to get out of my seat because I could see uh, the people were getting really, really anxious. And they're not listening, so there's no point in continuing to talk at the end of the meeting uh, if, if they're not listening. So, um, so uh, top tips and tricks on conducting meetings, finish early. Plan to start your meeting on time, exactly on time, or you be ready to be on time and then finish your meeting, particularly if you're a sales meeting. Plan to finish them five or 10 minutes early and let them finish up the meetings. Because when you see someone who's ready to go to their next meeting, they're getting anxious, they're not listening. So there's no point in talking. So it's really, it's wasted time trying to stretch it out anyway. And potentially you lose the deal as a result, so. I forgot. You had a camera in my face. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to it. On to the next one. Australian Sports Commission. We'll have to uh, find out where they are. They're somewhere out of town next to all their wonderful facilities. Should we go? Yep. Very well, yes. I'm now inspired by <laughs> high performance athleticism. If you want to look at my high performance body, ah. luckily you can't see my high performance mind, but uh, it's there. We caught up with a committee of people who run the funding programs for the advisors that do the small business advisory program. So they, a whole bunch of advisors out there doing small business advisory with Commonwealth Government funding and we were talking to them about the platform that those advisors use to capture the data. So, yeah. Jack, you're in charge of seeing if you can see a swimming pool. A swimming pool? Can you see a swimming pool? Oh. So we, can go, we came for a swim. Yeah, you can, can go and see your sister swim. Yeah, I just realised, she's just said it's, it's here near the airport. It might be there, over there. I went to a circus on that paddock, really good. Huh? They put six motorbikes inside a steel ball and rode them around in circles. Yeah, it was like two motorbikes, three motorbikes, four motorbikes, five motorbikes, six motorbikes. It's just incredible. We're just talking about how we can <clears throat> improve the data analysis and reporting and data capture. So live data analysis and reporting and capture uh, for the business advisory program. So it's quite exciting. Uh, so we're looking at obviously the continual improvement of assessments. So those guys 
go out and do assessments and we're looking at how they do those assessments and how we can really lift the game with how those assessments are done and more importantly give really good quality instantaneous feedback on the reporting structures. So one thing that best practice is really good at is getting a good understanding of what's going on in the analysis. And so we've gone, okay, let's improve the process and say, how can it be done more efficiently? How can it be done more effectively? And how can it be done live? You know, I think it's been a case of, uh, of the apprentice teaching the master some, uh, some sales tips and tricks. <laughs> so he's got a different style. He's got a very old school style of conducting a meeting and running. Today's been really good because I've been controlling the time. Like, we've got to go. They're finished with us. We've got to go. Let's go. And um, yeah, and, and so we've had a great result. Today's been a big day, a great day. Um, exhausting, but uh, that's my top tip for this week. Finish your meetings on time. Start them on time. Finish them on time. Uh, don't steal time. <laughs>